How's it going guys? Today I'm happy to show you the new update and features to the real-time materials and show you how this can really speed up your workflow with these new updates. Now one of the biggest concerns I had was color control. So let me show you with this Porsche model the color control you now have with the update. So, so let's go ahead and get a paint. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of the paints. So let's do a damaged paint here on the Porsche. Look at this, so we have three levels of color control. Originally, we only had a hue slider, so you can change the hue of the color, but not the exact color. Now, you have control. So you have control over the metal under the paint, so now it's much darker. Now you have two levels of color. So say I wanna make this really dark, to something like this, and then we have a completely different color. So you can see kinda of how we have those color options here with this. And of course, it is a procedural material. So if we hop over and over here to Eevee, we're just using Eevee to see changes quickly. You can see the roughness and color scale options. And then you have the scale of where the dents and things happen there as well. So completely procedural. Now, another thing is we have a really good glass material. So we'll go here to the window and we'll go to glass. And then there's one called the master glass. All these are different variations and scratches, but the one, this one's my favorite, the master glass, because one really cool thing we also have is roughness control on a bunch of the the uh, materials. Originally, you didn't have control over the roughness. You only had control of the roughness pattern. So if we bring this all the way down to zero, it is going to be completely clear, so completely see-through. And then we can bring in some roughness just like that. And then there we go. Now we have some roughness there. You can see that changing. And then part of the roughness is clear, and part of it is super rough. And then if you want it to be not so clear, you can bring in that other part. And there we go, now we have some really foggy glass now, and you do get control over the pattern of the roughness as you can see here in Eevee. Of course, we do now have control of the color of that glass, which is really, really exciting. All right, so if you've never heard of the real-time materials, let me give you a little breakdown of what it is. It is a pack of 200 procedural materials made for EV and cycles. They work in both engines. So we have this really cool brand new wood materials that we just added. So we'll use the, uh, the ash wood and look at that. Now we have some wood all over and completely procedural wood all over our Porsche. So say we wanna put some chrome or some metal here on that. So we'll go here to the metals and we'll pick just a, we'll do this glossy metal. Now we have a nice glossy metal here, kind of nasty looking, but it kind of works with the rest of the vibe of this Porsche. And then we'll go ahead and add in a, a uh, surface here. So we'll do a really rough looking surface for some of the rubber. So we'll bring in those roughnesses here, a little bit too much on the roughness, something like this. And now we have a sort of racing rubber, racing tire looking vibe here. And there we go. That is how the real-time materials work. Just because I want to do it. I don't really want to have rubber, I mean, uh, wood there because it doesn't make any sense. So we'll go ahead and get another metal here. We'll do a oily metal just for the heck of it. So there we go. Now you have a really cool oily metal and you can bring down the color of the metal. So there you go. That is the real-time materials for EV and cycles. You can check it out. It is linked in the description. All of you who have already purchased it, you can go back to your downloads and re-download the file. It will be the updated brand new file. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.